No creepers. No creepers. Huh. Huh. Hey, hey, welcome back to our Let's Play. Hey, Palbo, I haven't fed you in a while. You know what? There. <laughs> now it looks like you took a doodle -doo on the. Why'd you poop? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That actually looks like doodle, -doo, not food. Okay. But welcome back, everyone. Today's gonna be another one of them episodes where we just work on a bunch of different things. I shouldn't be uploading right now. I'm in the midst of moving and it's going well. I haven't done it yet. I start today <laughs> and finals are over, so that's a plus. Um, so, what should we start with today? Huh. Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot about my castle. <laughs> Okay, so I got a little bit of work done on the space station. Not a whole lot. I took down this bridge over here. But as you can see, we have a protrusion. And these were actually really difficult to make. I made two of them. One of them's at a diagonal position. Maybe it's adjusted for the unseeable sun out here. <laughs> but uh, we have two solar panels on this part right here. And I love how it turned out. And I used ice, by the way, because it was the best looking block. And it's not that, well, um, I'll use it in the nether quite a bit, but I like how it turned out. Oh my gosh. See, I usually play peaceful out here. Um, hopefully they can't get in the hall. Yeah, they can. <laughs> uh, so this part, as you can see, is a very high-tech room. <laughs> That's all. Now, I'll make a use for it with something, but this is the part that those solar panels get attached to, and then we're going to have another room over here. Let's just build a room today over here. Where am I? I'm gonna die, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I extended this part a little bit more. I'm trying to get a good angle on it. I want this to be a docking area, so I made the end a little bit darker. <laughs> um, actually, instead of making it docking, I should make it, oh yes. Like an area where I can swoop in with my elytra wings. I can, oh, because I mean, we don't actually need sealant and like, well, I'm going to still have a place where a ship can come up and dock, but I also need an area where I can come in out and do that. Oh my god, and not kill myself. <gasps> Imagine if I hit that wall and died and all my stuff fell into the void. Alright, I'm going to make an extrusion right here. Huh? Oh god. Yeah, right off this side, and I think I want that to be like a barracks area. I'm liking how this is turning out. So this is going to be a... Oh god! I guess I'll just put like a few white beds in there. I kind of like the way it looks. It's a little extension. And I have kind of diddled with gravity. Um, well, the anti-gravity parts. And there's no real way to do it. One of the best ones is the slow falling potion, but guys, that requires phantom membranes. <laughs> and you don't really come across phantoms all that much in this game. And I sleep a lot, so I literally only have like eight of those things to my name and when I walk in this space station every time and come across like a pressure plate and a dispenser that shoots one on me that'll be over in, in like no time so I sadly can't use that because the best effect you can get on here of low gravity is actually a slow falling potion and jump boost too and of course you can get jump boost too through a beacon and well here could make it last three minutes so maybe we will add it Maybe when the place is done, where we only visit it. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think <laughs> I think that'll actually work. So at the main entrance of the space station, wherever that'll be, we'll come across a pressure plate that'll do that. And we have a jump boost too. And look at this. <laughs> this would be awesome just to run around. Well, most of the... Well, yeah, most of it's three blocks high. And I would have to waste a whole entire beacon here, which I'm not too fond of. Or I could just grab a shulker. <laughs> I still might go that route. Can I make it up? <laughs> See, I actually really like this. I know a lot. Oh, man, I'm taking a lot of damage. I won't take that much damage, though. Oh, my God. When I'm actually here. Um, but I really like this. And I want to use this shulker for when I have a vertical part. Not throughout the whole space station. Oh, wow. That was perfect. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have my spacesuit on. <laughs> but also, I almost placed these beds down. I know you can't sleep here, but 
My mouse currently has a bug where... Well, it's not a bug. It's just broken. So you're saying bug. Look. Okay. Normally when I'm building, it usually happens a lot. Oh, don't do it. But just, just because I'm recording. Come on. Well, what I'm trying to show you is, is when I'm building, normally my mouse is just like double... Yeah, like that. It places a lot. So if I place down this bed and accidentally <laughs> sleep on it, I'll get blown up. Is it worth the risk, though? Okay, where do I want these beds? I don't even... Did I even have... <laughs> okay. There's one. There's two. <laughs> oh, I know my mouse. It's going to mess up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, got a little barrack section that we can't use. Great. Let's go build something else. How's it look from here? Looking good. Can I shoot that? I don't know, but do you think we should pillar to that and see if we can interact with it? Huh, what to work on next in this lovely world? So much to choose from. Slime Science Center looks pretty tasty right now. By the way, I'm still getting a lot of comments saying that you can get brick from this guy. I know you can. That's what I did for a while, if you don't remember. Um, but it's not worth it, because you can only trade about five times and... <laughs> That's not that much brick, so that's why I haven't been going to him for specifically brick. What's in here? Is it blocked off? That's kind of scary. Huh. <laughs> uh, I surprise myself sometimes. I still need to get a doctor in here. Or, well, a surgeon. That would be nice. What happens if I break my slimy leg? What the? See, Endermen keep taking blocks out of the top of my lab. Like grass blocks covering slabs, and then it lets in light all over the place. You know what? Endermen are a real nuisance on here. <laughs> Not just because of the end, but they really take a lot of blocks from the top of my lab. Um, but anyway, we're going to work in this room now. I want this to be a plant study. Well, specifically, a plant study. <laughs> so, well, I'll just show you what I mean. Let's get the floor fixed first. Alright, so what we are going for here... So I'm going to make it look like we're administering some chemical onto these plants in a staged process. So maybe over here, or no, over here is like the newest stage. And then these ones down here have been kind of exposed to it longer. So we're going to have fresh green grass. And then it's going to go to like that all the way to Corister where it just kills everything. I think that'll look pretty cool. Man, I'm all out of sea lanterns and it sucks. Didn't I use... A crap load of sea lanterns at oh here yeah yeah there's a lot through here you know oh and in there I wouldn't mind borrowing some to be honest because I really want them okay I don't use this hallway a whole lot yet we're okay next episode we're going out to the guardian farm again well not a farm there's a, another temple we haven't conquered yet so I need to find a plant that has like a mid stage of dying so I think I'm going to use the oak sapling as the beginning stage. That obviously is the end. I was thinking, yeah, that might work. Yeah, this turned out actually good. So this is like the pure form of the plant. And whatever substance we're putting in here, this made it... Yeah, it looks like it's turning fall colored, you know? And then now it's completely wintered. <laughs> um, I kind of like that. I need to mess with that somehow, though. It looks kind of strange. Well, we gotta have our mushrooms in here in the plant study room. Yes, they can go right here in the window. That would look interesting. Nice. You know what? Since I did that in my office, I'm going to put one of them swirly plants right there in the corner. It's always the last shulker box when <laughs> you need something for me. I'll go through all of them to find the one I need. There we go. Looks good. I guess that one disappeared too. Wow. So along with all of my basalt, which was stacks upon stacks, all of my drooping red vine, whatever it's called, weeping vine, something like that, it disappeared from all of my chests too. I'm running all over the place. I could have swore I had some. That's kind of annoying. Great. That's exactly what I need. Oh, it won't load my world. I'm always afraid of like, exiting the game right here because I've had it, an experience of it corrupting my world. Well, 
What's happening? Is my world broken? It looks broken. Oh my god, it looks broken. Load! You're scared. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew I should have backed out before this little beta update. But I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. Oh my god, now it won't even save my world. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, crap. Here we go. Time to find out if my world's come to its end. You know, my world has been through a lot. Oh my god. Just, just give it to me. What's it gonna be? Every, all the chunks are deleted except for that little section, right? <laughs> oh, what the? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's better. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine if I just went straight into the lava. God, this game is so crazy, man. I'll tell you what. I got what I came for. I thought I was going to have to leave this episode on like a cliffhanger where <laughs> my world is corrupted. Just work, please. There. Oh, is it you? I'm thinking he messed it up. Maybe he went into the portal and... Me I don't care. God, these episodes are such an emotional roller coaster sometimes. <laughs> we all good? Oh, man. I was afraid I was... I haven't backed up since I started the spaceship, so I would have lost a lot of progress. Space station, not a ship. Okay, so I was trying to do that. That looks nice. Does that block not have a sound? I thought it did. There we go. I was going to have a room where I study, you know, nether plant. I still could. Who knows? <laughs> I think this looks cool, though. I want to add some, like, flowers on the table as well. Probably on item frames, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to put a bunch of signs on here, too, saying what chemical we use, just to add to the immersion. Um, well, sadly enough, I'm going to have to end it here, because I just found out that I missed one of my final exams. God, I, it's making me feel sick to my stomach, because I've worked all semester on this class, doing as best as I can. And this is what I don't like about this teacher. Like, I rigorously scroll through the to-do on Canvas, which is a college like website where you see all your assignments especially now that everything's online and I never I have to do like a video interview as my final exam it's for my business communications class and we just did a final research paper I know I shouldn't be telling you this but I need a place to vent <laughs> and I thought that was the final exam because I had a resume you had to make connected to it and I'm like okay we're all done I scrolled one more time all the way through canvas nothing to do I put my arms up in the air I'm finished oh Next day, you got a graded assignment for your final exam. Zero out of 100. Good job, Dallas. It's like, what? Oh, my God. So I'm hoping he'll let me do it. I doubt he will because he's a very tough teacher, and I'm just kind of sad that I'm probably going to fail this class. Great. Rest in peace, GPA. Rest in peace, transferring. All right. Today's comment question of the day. I'm so sorry. I have to talk to somebody about it. <laughs> no. What the? I missed a page here. Anyway. From Axis 293 Plays, will you ever bring face cam to your Let's Play or some sort of live streams? So yes, today is actually the first day I get to go start moving stuff into my apartment. And I really wanted to start live streaming this world or another world. Because now that I'm going to be able to start uploading every day, which is going to be really nice. I don't know when that will start. Probably a week from now or half a week from now. Matters when I bring my equipment over there. Um, but yes, I would love to because I work a lot on this world in between episodes and I'm sure a lot of you would like to stop by maybe Twitch or something and just see me with non-stop gameplay and I could be answering all your questions or whatever you go to Twitch to do. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun experience. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind bringing Facecam either. I am starting my other channel now. Um, I think I want to create two other channels. I think I want to create another one for other games and another one for my personal life. I know almost every other YouTuber does that, but... I see why they do it, because, well, if you want to approach YouTube in a professional way, business professional, you need to start branching out to other categories as well, not just the sole thing you started. Well, you could, but I want to branch out. There's that. Now I need to figure out this whole final exam situation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.